Hello everyone, and welcome to Train Talk. In this episode, we will be talking about types of locomotives. This is one of the most important and basic topics when it comes to trains. We'll talk about each of the basic types of locomotives and discuss very briefly how each one works. But first, what is a locomotive? A locomotive is a piece of railroad equipment that is used to pull a train. Locomotives are typically categorized based on how they generate power to move a train down the track. The three main types of locomotives are steam, diesel, and electric. It is important to note that locomotives do not carry any passengers or freight. A piece of powered rail equipment that is used to carry goods or people is generally called a self-propelled rail vehicle or more specifically a diesel multiple unit or electrical multiple unit. We will cover multiple units in a separate episode of Train Talk. Let's take a brief look at the three major types of locomotives as well as a fourth category called dual modes. Steam locomotives are the oldest of the three major types of locomotives and they dominated the rail lines of the world for well over 100 years. They use the power of expanding steam to turn the wheels of the locomotive to make the train go. I'm planning on doing a separate episode of Train Talk on how a steam locomotive works, but for the purposes of this episode, a steam locomotive burns fuel to heat water. The fuel used is typically either wood, coal, or some type of oil. The water is heated so much that it turns into steam. This steam, which is stored under high pressure, is used to move the large connecting rods on either side of the locomotive through the use of cylinders. The moving rods are connected to driving wheels, which turn and make the locomotive move. Before steam locomotives, trains had to be pulled by horses, so they were not very long. Following the design of the first successful steam locomotives in the first decade of the 1800s, railways began expanding rapidly. Steam locomotives continued to rule the rails until they were replaced with newer types of locomotives starting in the 1930s and ending with the complete removal of steam locomotives from most railways around the world between the late 1950s and early 1970s. The next type of locomotive used to pull trains is the diesel locomotive. Diesel locomotives use an engine that burns diesel fuel to power the train. In most cases, diesels are more specifically called diesel-electric locomotives. This is because the diesel engine does not directly move the train, but rather is used to generate electricity. This electricity is then used to power motors located on each powered axle, called traction motors, which moves the train. You can kind of think about these locomotives as mobile, diesel-burning power plants that then take the electrical power generated and use it to power electrical motors that allow the locomotive to move. In some other types of diesel locomotives, the diesel motor directly powers the axles of the locomotive. Diesel-electric locomotives are, by a large margin, the most widely used type of locomotive today in the United States as well as most countries around the world. They started to appear on the railroads of America as early as the 1930s. Diesel electrics will likely continue to be the dominant type of locomotive in the United States for many years to come. Next, we have electric locomotives. These locomotives work by collecting electricity as they go and feeding it to electrical traction motors located at the wheel axles. Like a diesel-electric locomotive, the traction motors then turn the wheels, making the locomotive and train move. They typically collect electricity from an overhead wire, but in some cases they pick up power from an electrified third rail. Locomotives that pick up power via an overhead wire usually have an electrical pickup called a panograph. However, some railroads use a device called a trolley pole. Trolley poles cannot be used for very high speeds and are not as durable as pantographs. The advantage to electric locomotives is that they are highly efficient. Most of the newer ones can even take the energy generated by braking and convert it back into electrical power that is returned to either the overhead wires or third rail. The disadvantage that electric trains have is the high cost for both installation and maintenance of the overhead electrical wires. This means that the efficiency of electric locomotives really only pays off on rail lines that see a lot of train traffic. 
Additionally, they can also pose a serious safety risk for crews working on the ground. This is especially true for electrical third rails. For this reason, it is unlikely that any major freight railroads or even low-density passenger railroads will be electrified in the foreseeable future. The first electric locomotives were built as long ago as the late 1800s. Today, in the United States, they are primarily used along Amtrak's Northeast Corridor, but there are a few exceptions to this, such as the Iowa Traction Railway in Mason City, Iowa, which uses electric locomotives that were built in the early 1900s to haul freight. Finally, we come to a rather interesting type of locomotive known as a dual mode. This isn't entirely a unique type of locomotive, but I still think it is worth mentioning. A dual mode is essentially an electric locomotive and a diesel electric locomotive all rolled into one. These locomotives can generate power to move either from the onboard diesel motor or by picking up electricity. They often look like a diesel locomotive, but with the addition of an electrical pickup either in the form of a pantograph or from an electrical third rail. Some of these locomotives can actually switch between the diesel motor and the electrical pickup while moving. Others, typically those with a pantograph, are forced to stop in order to switch. Dual modes first came about in the United States in the late 1950s, one of the first of which was the New Haven Railroad's FL9. Today, dual modes are still used pretty much exclusively out of the New York City region on local commuter trains and Amtrak trains traveling up the Hudson River, due largely to restrictions on regular movements of standard diesel-electric locomotives in the city of New York. Well, that does it for this episode of Train Talk. I feel like we covered so much today, but in reality we only scratched the surface. I hope to one day do an in-depth episode on each of these types of locomotives because there really is just so much more to talk about. If you liked the video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and leaving a comment below. For those of you who haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell so that you are alerted every time I release a new video. That's it for now. Until next time, I'm Mike Armstrong. I'll see you down the line. Thanks for watching.